a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Ostersund Ostersund is an urban area in Jamtland in the middle of Sweden. It is the seat of Ostersund municipality and the capital of Jamtland county. Ostersund is located at the shores of Sweden's fifth largest lake, Storshorn, opposite the island Frossen, and is the only city in Jamtland. Ostersund is the region's cultural and economical center and, by tradition, a city of trade and commerce. Ostersund had one of the most extensive garrisons in Sweden prior to its closure in the early 21st century. The city is the Mid-Sweden University's largest campus site with approximately 7,000 students, with a total population of 44,327. Ostersund is the 22nd most populous city in Sweden, the 46th most populous city in Scandinavia, and by far the largest inland city in northern Sweden. The city was the only Swedish city founded and chartered in the 18th century. Ostersund was founded in order to create a trade monopoly. Over Jamtland whose inhabitants' lucrative trade annoyed the Swedish crown. The intention was to persuade the local farmers to deliver merchandise to middlemen in Ostersund. But the population opposed this economic philosophy, and Ostersund long remained small. It took until the end of the 19th century for Ostersund to truly become a city. After the arrival of the railroad and the economic liberalization of that time, Ostersund is situated in inland Scandinavia and connected to Sundsvall in the east on the Swedish coast, and Trondheim in the west, at the shores of the Norwegian Sea. Ostersund is located in the middle of Scandinavia, in the middle of Sweden, in the middle of Jamtland County and in the middle of Ostersund municipality. As the most centrally located city in Sweden, the city credits itself as the center of Sweden. Ostersund is marketed as Vinterstad and Winter City. Winter City is a project is run by the municipality together with city enterprises. Ostersund has had a long history as a center of outdoor activities with a modern cross-country ski stadium and an actual piste in the city itself. Ostersund has also hosted several world championships in various sports such as biathlon, speed skating and ski orienteering along with Swedish national championships in cross-country skiing and snowcross. The city has been the applicant city of Sweden for several Winter Olympic Games, but has yet to host one. The precursor to the Winter Olympic Games, the Nordic Games, were however held at several occasions in the city, due to lack of snow in Stockholm. Geography Ostersund is the only city in the province, and it is located on the shore of the fifth largest lake in Sweden, Storshorn. The area surrounding this lake is commonly referred to as Storsjobygden, and this area has been described as the world's northernmost located genuine agricultural society. In the inland with continental climate, the city sprawls along the eastern slopes of Lake Storshon and most of the city, and the city core itself is located on the mainland, facing the non-mainland part of the city. The island of Frossen, which for a very long time was the actual center of Jamtland. Today, a sizable part of the city's population live on the slopes of the island that face the city center. Ostersund is a bi-municipal town, because a minor part of it, with roughly 400 inhabitants, is actually situated in Krokum municipality. The city spans across Ostersund A, and the city was named after this strait. Ostersund can be directly translated from Swedish to English as East Sound. The name of the strait derives from an older Jamtish name now present in the form Astersan. Climate Ostersund has a subarctic climate, and is located in the far north of the north temperate climate zone. The cold arctic winds that occasionally find their way to the city are called Nordvastan or Kalvistan locally. However, the winter climate is much warmer than most locations, at similar latitudes. 
This is due to the Gulf Stream and the many passages in the mountain range, bringing warmer Atlantic winds to the city during winters. This somewhat maritime character also makes the summers in the city rather cool. In comparison, Two other towns in inland Scandinavia, which all have a more continental climate with cold winters and warm summers. It contains a strong influence of the humid continental climate courtesy of its mild September lows, extending the mild mean temperatures. Though Ostersund is in fact affected by the Gulf Stream it lacks the high frequency of rain following the currents. This is due to the Scandinavian mountain range acting as a natural barrier, receiving most of the precipitation, giving Ostersund and the surrounding area a rain deficit. Another issue that has to be taken into account is the higher elevation of Ostersund compared to the weather stations in Angermanland farther east. For example, Solefti, at a similar latitude 130 km to the east but at sea level, albeit inland, has almost 3 degrees warmer July days. Ostersund has a high exposition of sunlight, and was the most sunny city in Sweden in the summer of 2007 with 654 hours of sun. However, in comparison to east coast locations, sunshine is relatively low. Cityscape Ostersund was laid out with roads spanning from north to south counted by several alleys from east to west, which is why an alley in Ostersund is synonymous with a road leading down towards Storsholm. From the inner city one may gaze upon Storsholm, Frossen, and the Jam Tischfell region with snow-clad mountains. This was made possible due to the topography and the grid plan. The regularity in Ostersund's road system and the slanting alleys leading from higher altitudes down towards Storsholm have created the windows to the west. Characteristic and unique to Ostersund as a city, the alleys, often seen as rather steep, have created the illusion that the houses in the city core are climbing to higher grounds. These houses were conformed upon the construction to fit with the slopes. The first city plan of Ostersund was made, with several large segments in the core being reserved as green areas. Ostersund was thus planned as a green city and special lots, and more Kridgard Stompter, Spice Garden lots, were created along with construction lots. These lots shifted with a construction lot alternating with a spice garden lot. The garden lots are no longer existent since they too have been constructed upon many of the fences that separated each lot from another with trees and verdure were left intact. The large green areas are still present, with parks such as Kirkparken, Osterangsparken, and Badusparken being the most prominent. Badu Sparken was once the location of a large bathhouse though it was torn down in 1881. When the railway was constructed, a new larger two-story pompous bathhouse was later built on poles a few meters from the shore, enabling the population to bathe in the waters of Storshorn during summers. This house was also torn down when a new bathhouse with heated water was founded in 1938. When Ostersund started to grow as a city in the late 19th century the houses consisted predominantly of wood, though stone had become popular in the central parts. These houses were heavily characterized by Neo-Gothicism and Neo-Renaissance. A very common feature of these houses were towers, some even resembling those on old castles like the one on Hotel Grand at the main square. In the early 20th century a new age had come and in the main road, Prestgaten, the new age came fiercely. The wooden houses were replaced by stone buildings, because a city's well-being was measured in how many stone buildings it had. At the same time military barracks were constructed in connection to the older settlement. Jugendstil became popular too as an addition to the national romantic style architecture. In the 1930s, the functionalistic style made itself apparent in Ostersund's outskirts, which were growing. In the 1940s, the city was made more car-friendly and the city was first 
and foremost planned for cars. Later the sanitarian issues was brought up, which resulted in the construction of a sewage treatment works, and the wastewater was no longer flushed directly into Storse Hon. Ostersund was also affected by the Million program, though to a lesser extent than other cities. During the same period older buildings such as Hotel Grand, Self Angelset, Flixgolan, and Vastra Station N were torn down. The local media described it all as and more, demolishing madness. When the Good Templar House was threatened in order to widen Red Husgate and the city's inhabitants had had enough and the building was saved. The buildings along Storgate and with entire segments intact, since the 1880s are considered one of the best preserved city settlements in Sweden. The wooden facades are rich with details and the house are relatively low, short and slim. A great amount of work was put down on creating a balance between details and entirety. Parallel with Storgaten lies Priskaten, the Priest Road, Ostersund's main shopping street. The buildings between the two roads are often connected, and the roads create small rooms mostly inaccessible for keen winds. These so-called rooms also stimulate the social life on the streets. Store Torge, the main town square in central Ostersund, is one of six closed squares built in Sweden, the others being the ones in Uppsala, Karlstad, Vimmerby, Petia, and Haparanda. It was created through indentation in four different blocks to deliberately create an open air room with openings to every direction. A style deriving from how cities were planned during the Renaissance. However the town square lost its original shape when it was opened up and expanded towards the lake. Store Torge has long been a city's main marketplace and core. It is also here that the thousand-year-old market Gregory Market is held each year in March. The city festival Stores Joyrun has Store Torge as its main center. Districts and housing estates before Ostersund was established, the population in the area was very scarce. In Odensala and Torvala, older settlements existed. The name Odensala can be derived from the Viking Age and the halls of Odin. These two villages were later incorporated into Ostersund and are today two major urban districts. Besides them, the urban districts of Odenskog, Odensvik, Odensland, Karlsland, Eriksland, Lundvik, Lelange, and Soda, along with the new district Stadstal Nora, found on the mainland. On Frossen, recently included into the city, are the three urban districts Hornsberg, Mial, and Valla. The central parts of Ostersund are a part of the urban district Staden, the city which has become synonymous with Ostersund for many people living in the nearby villages and towns. As Ostersund is the only city in the area and nearest city for many it is common to call it Stan, though the dated form STAA has increasingly grown unusual. The residents of Ostersund are referred to as Ostersunder, though local ruralists call them Stasbon, Towners, and Stasbo, Towner, in singular. Landmark The most well-known landmark of Ostersund is the National Romantic City Hall. It is 51 meters tall and contains 136 rooms. It is the greatest constructional symbol of the National Romantic architecture in Ostersund. The city hall looks almost like a fortress and affiliates especially to the local art of Jamtland. The bell tower is of typical Jamtish design shaped like an onion. The local sculpture Olof Alberg made most of the sculpture details and the ornaments are made from Jamtish limestone. Franz Bertiel Wahlberg's city hall was seen by contemporary colleagues as the best of modern Swedish architecture. The main part of the building is accentuated by a grand tower and a monumental stairway. It is accompanied by only one wing, the North Wing, as the second, South Wing, was torn down in the 1970s. A recently built landmark is Arctura, named after Jamtland's provincial star Arcturus, a large hot water accumulator tank. Due to its appearance it is referred to as Termesen.
At night the 65-meter building is illuminated with various lights like sunrise and the aurora borealis. The large church is a monumental feature in Ostersund's cityscape. It is a basilica made of bricks, with clear distinguished aisle. The choir is three-sided, and the large steeple is facing the west, Storshon and the fells of Overken. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?